few years ago, I was uh, researching possible second careers after I retire from the state. My main job, I work with the University of North Carolina, Wilmington. I'm an associate director, assistant director of marine operations. So I oversee our research vessels, research diving, uh, scheduling, billing, paperwork, all the logistics for our uh, boating activities. I was looking around at things that would keep me near the water, on the water, and came across mariculture, and specifically oysters, and saw what they were doing in Virginia, uh, all the other states around us. I knew we grew great oysters in the wild here in North Carolina, but their populations were getting pretty low. So I kind of put the two together and said, well, why can't we do it here? And so I started really researching it then and got a grant from Sea Grant to start a project to test a couple of different methods to grow oysters here in North Carolina. And it's just taken off from there. We've got a two acre lease. Uh, we've got floating cages. Uh, they're on basically a clothesline system. You got two poles, one on each end, and these cages float right on the surface, right beside these lines. They're clipped on them. And so the oysters are floating up in about two to three inches of water, and the wind and wave action keep these oysters tumbled around, it keeps their shell shapes really nice, and uh, allows them to be up in the highest overall temperature throughout the year the highest uh, water quality because you have more dissolved oxygen and more food. So you put those three things together, put an oyster in it, it's gonna grow pretty well. Uh, with this method, since we buy our seed from a hatchery, we're not taking anything out of the wild, so we're not restricted to the wild seasons. So we're able to harvest and sell our product all year round. And that's one of the benefits of doing it this way, as well as not taking any oysters out of the wild to do this. We were calling and sorting out our lines. About every three to four months, we have to go through our entire line and take the oysters out of the cage. We dump them out on a culling tray, which is just a big wooden tray, basically. And we go through and pull out the ones that are big enough to go to market, the ones that have maybe got bias and grown together into doubles or triples. And the rest of them, they all go back into cages, divided out in a certain volume. And basically that's what we're doing is thinning out the cages because you want your cages light sitting up in the water. And so we did that today. We brought in some that we're gonna to take to market a little bit later on. Uh, the rest of them we put back out on the lines where they're gonna go and they'll be there for the next three, four months, depending on how fast they grow. This time of year in the spring, summer, late fall, they grow pretty fast. From when we get it at about uh, four to six millimeter, which is not very big, to market size, we'll start calling them out at about 11 months. Now that's the fastest growers of the population. And then we'll continue to call out and about 16 months, you're starting to get the real majority of your oysters that are market size out of that specific age class. And then by the end of two years, we've gotten all the marketable oysters out of that age class that we're gonna get. Because any slower growing than that, they're not economically feasible for us because they're taking up cage space, they're more susceptible to disease and other things. And so we don't have any oysters that are over two years old on our lease. And as in a comparison, a wild oyster, in, as a general rule, would take three years just to get to market size if it did everything naturally and sat on the bottom and grew up and, and even made it to adult size. Our market is for restaurants doing a half shell product as either appetizers, uh, some raw bars that of course do half shell pro uh, pro products. Occasionally people take them to steam and roast. Uh, we do sell to individuals occasionally and they have oyster roast, steaming them, uh, things like that, or take them home and eat them for the half shell themselves. Uh, and we also sell to some fish markets, and then they'll sell retail or wholesale, wherever their market's at. And we're also in a community-supported fishery, basically the seafood equivalent of a CSA. So we're involved in that, called walking fish, and therefore our oysters are going up to Chapel Hill, Raleigh, and Durham, and so the members are getting our product up there 
usually twice in a uh, season for them, usually in the fall and then early winter. And so we get in our oysters all the way up the central part of the state. There's definitely been moments that weren't quite so much fun, but you know, a beautiful day like today, you've got a light breeze, it's warm, you can actually get in the water and do whatever work you need to do and it's nice and warm and then you can cool down if you get too hot. So it's, it's definitely nice, fun work. It gets a little old after a while when that happens, but you know, you have beautiful days like this and you forget all about it. Mmm, very good, very good.